As we stand here on our wedding day, I remember seeing a couple on their wedding day almost 20 years ago in these same gardens. And I pictured what this day would look like for me. I prayed for a caring, smart, compassionate husband who I'd get to love and spend the rest of my life with. And then there was you. Two thousand seven hundred ninety-two. The number of days since I first laid eyes on you. Although I didn't know it at the time, it was a day that would change our lives forever. The saying that opposites attract couldn't be farther from the truth with these two. It would be hard to find two more alike people. From their outgoing personalities, their caring selflessness, and always making others happy, to their religious devotions and hard work ethics, I'm really looking forward to watching these two travel on their journey together and now as husband and wife. As you know, it didn't take me long to tell you I love you. And that's because, well, dang, I love you. <laughs> Although getting to call you mine makes me feel like the luckiest man alive, and it was not luck that brought us together. God opened every door needed for me to walk into your life, and it is Him that will remain the foundation in which our marriage is built on. He blessed me with you the greatest gift I could ever imagine. My best friend, and in a few short hours, my wife. Very nice, honey. Adam is going to be one happy guy. <laughs> that brings us to today, 2,793. Our wedding day. <laughs> oh my gosh. You look so amazing. I cannot wait for a future side by side with my best friend, future father of our children and all of the adventures that await with the man of my dreams. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. I promise that no matter what life throws our way, we will have each other until death do us part. So Erica, for the rest of our lives, please go dancing away with my heart. Oh my gosh. I love you. Adam and Erica, and that you have coveted together in holy matrimony and have made these vows before God and this congregation, declaring your faith, your hope, and your love by the authority conferred upon me as minister of the good news. I pronounce you husband and wife together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Adam, and I kiss your bride. There's nobody else I could imagine spending the rest of my life with. And although today will always remain one of the greatest days of our life, this is only the beginning for us.